come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the knock your bitch man. Stop up! These are the moments when everybody gonna load it. We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense No matter what These are the moments When every gangsta gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense In Jamaica's relentless war and crime The worst criminals End up on the true island story platform These are their stories Welcome to True Island Stories, this is The Tivoli Incursion, Part 3, The Temperature Turns Up on the Battlefield. In the middle of this uncivil act of civil unrest, both innocent civilians and calamitous men of Western Kingston and adjoining communities had to retreat to their dwellings as the heat became more intense. The men from Tivoli went across Darling Street and set the police station there on fire. This was too much for the authorities to bear. Then I'm told police station, well, they left it be. They did not lift a finger akin. Well, not until Gummy Bear and his syndicate from Little King Street started to fire their AK-47 on the premises like it was an invasion on Normandy Beach Operation Overlord. D-Day, the worst seaborne attack in human history in 1944 World War II when USA Canadian forces stormed the beach in northern France to get rid of its Nazi occupants. Club, 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 Belting out orders to his soldiers by rapid. Yo, fire up on the side. Fire up on the side of the station. Yo, fire. Yo, Bobby James. Who they go fling the buckle boom, the man? Yo, Scooby they go fling the buckle boom, hurry up, the man. Yo, dog. Ram up a 16 and then belly till the belch. Ram up a 16. Yeah, 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 man. The one that soon come. Brrr, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. The cops were flat on their stomachs in the station praying to God for a miracle. But none. Was forthcoming all the dealers of death. Boom 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 until the one that reached here got maybe a ball or knock it, knock it, Barry G, knock it, knock it there, boom. Then silence. And all the cops in the station looked at each other simultaneously and said, What that? The battle was won instantaneously. By this time now you could see handcart filled with goods and riflemen to escort it from all different directions. Police unit intersected a group of men on West Queen Street and West Street and based on the amount of men and caliber guns they were carrying, the vehicle hit the reverse <laughs> and sped off in the opposite direction. While all of this was taking place, a barrage of gunfire was heard in the Nam Boom 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 but this too didn't hinder the club the main ex of West Kingston to carry their raid on the corporate area stores. Harry Dog, yes, Harry Dog that died the other day. Yes, he was in the midst of the upheaval. Harry Dog and Eve Led were seen in the mobilizing of about 200 riflemen from Denham Town to Tivoli Gardens. The flow of traffic with people seeking to escape the madness and the chaos were sent a chilling message as they witnessed these vermin, these mongrels just walking across Spanish Town Road unbothered willy nilly as it was just. You know, regular Sunday afternoon stroll, all it wasn't. A rat patrol that was in the vicinity was greeted by heavy gunfire on Spanish Town Road and Roselane area. The soldiers took the man, boom, 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 SLR and be a rifle, boom, 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 bo
But the criminals return the fire tenfold. Clump, 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 The soldiers had to take cover for their lives. But unfortunately, one of the soldiers was shot. The shooting of the soldiers, however, sparked the beginning of the end of the rope for all the antics of the men of Tivoli. Gardens and all who were involved. The whole out park camp, money, Newcastle, everything they man name left up, bread and not no left up a camp. I had three dung at Tivoli and dung in at the West. Yes, they were finally given the signal from the Governor General himself, Sir Patrick Allen, to get the state back in order, man. You know, go down there, go turn up down there. It was a nightmare on West Kingston that people are still reliving today. They treated the battle as an outside invasion. They quickly maneuvered the air tactically. They followed their military training to a T. Soldiers were dispatched on every main road of the area, locking in these unscrupulous villains. The waterfront of Kingston Arbor were filled with soldiers in less than half an hour. Oh, and the great sniper that was always dispatched on KP rooftop, he was front and center, present. Yes, he was a stalwart champion of claiming many lives of the West Kingston gunmen way, way before the incursion. This tactic was used to subdue and defeat men of the area whenever they got out of line or got out of pocket. The soldiers entered Denham Town, but was greeted by gunfire from strikers, men of Chestnut Lane. Tetaras was in Tivoli Garden at the time, but his compatriots, they were not holding back. Big Dog, who was a scoundrel of Chestnut Lane, was firing his infamous Russian AK on the giant military personnel power rapid. Boom, boom, boom. The man had beat it in a vengeance. Come, 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 come. The man beat it till he clicked. The military personnel were pinned down on North Street beside man's funeral home. The soldiers advanced though and made their way onto Charles Street and flanked these gunmen. The soldiers managed to push back these vermin back into the west side of the community. This was still. On Sunday, as the great war was yet to come. The Sunday night havoc continued. Yes, and the men wreaked havoc in the whole of West Kingston and the adjoining communities. The power was cut in the vicinity, and the security forces had a trick up their sleeves. Mm, they did, had a trick up their sleeves. While the gunmen were left paralyzed in the darkness, the soldiers had night vision. And they advanced and set up their own stakeout and barracks in and around the areas of Tivoli Gardens and Denham Town. By the break of dawn, it was on again. Gunshots were ringing out throughout the night though. But when the gunmen were supported by the sunlight, now they began to shoot at the soldiers and police. Because now they were seeing their targets. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Me I tell us a gunshot and fire around the clock. Some men go so boom and walk through the gully of Denham Town, which led to Craig Town to attack the soldiers from the rear end. But when they jump up to the road and pointed their rifles in the position to fire the security forces, an elderly man of Craig Town ball out, Yo! No dog, no kill on that thing, no brother. Or else the soldier, they will come back and kill off the youth. The man, your dog, on a studly park road. You mad? Dog, we're not involved in this region. We no can't do that, dog. We're not idiot. I'm too no bitch. We're not go back down, say that. They were furious of this man's injuries, of their plans. They immediately started to ask for the done of the area. I think the done was Russian at this time. A Russian was the underboss. Not quite sure. Then I'm told men spoke to the Don on the phone and he disagreed with their idea. They were disgruntled as they believed they were tricked by the Craig Don Big Bad himself. <laughs> yeah, so the bandits come, the heat come, the bandits now and take it, you know? Yeah, because he had given his word prior, before the war began. But now, it was in the heat of the battle and he saw what was coming and he knew the repercussions. So he like, look, let me take a foot. Backwards, then the next foot backwards out the wall. 
because this was a lost cause and he wasn't willing to be lost in it with his men or himself or his head for that matter. So they ended up leaving, heading back towards the heated battle, did the men of Denham down in Tivoli Gardens. A police unit was pinned down on North Street and Bond Street, close to the infamous Winge's restaurant. And all my West Kings and people know this delicious delight. As every early morning you can hear the advertisement on the microphone blaring out, Hot Stoppers! Hot Stoppers! Ready, comfy! Hot Stoppers! Hot Stoppers! I'm here alone! Hot you Hot! 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 Anyway, the police officers were left on their bellies crawling, shooting at the mercenaries who were not easing them up. Rifle shots rang out from both parties. He had a specific policeman who was adamant that yo, he must get out the road in which they were pinned down. Mind you, at this time, there were a lot of lifeless bodies on the road. It was like a zombie town. The policeman had to play dead though and wait till the shot ceased. For a while, then he rolled out of the road to be with the soldiers who were alongside the walls of the business places and yards on that road. At this point, the soldiers were closing in rapidly. The sniper on the KPH building was picking off any threats to his squads like flies on a wall. Boof! Then silence. Boof! Then silence. Then silence. Man chop. It licked. Chest tear up. I saw him. I picked them off. There was a bulldozer with soldiers which had to clear the debris that was on bombs on Spanish Stone Road. Shots were fired on them, but they were relentless. They had a job to do and they were doing it. They fired back on these diabolical men of Tivoli while getting the road clear. Meanwhile, close to Coronation Market, there was a heated shootout between soldiers and a top-tier gunman from striker named Cersei. He was easing the soldiers up and the police from rifle shots. Boom, 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 They engaged him though without fear. When the heat cooled off and the shooting got too much for him, his friends left him in the vicinity. They lit the market on fire for a sort of destruction, I suppose. But the soldiers wanted him and his friends' blood. They had to be taught a lesson. The soldiers closed in on them. Boom, 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 boom. And they returned the fire. Boom, 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 boom. But the soldiers got the better of them in the end. And all of them were shot dead. They had paid their penance in blood and were sent to meet their maker who was waiting with open arms to greet them. While this was taking place, there was a barricade that was in the middle of the road close to Tivoli Courts and the car parked to Darling Street where a young man was. He was shooting at the security forces and he was attempting to set off explosives that were lined off on the street side and on the light posts. On this same stretch of road, an exclusive gunman by the name of Taniel or Taniel was lying flat on his belly close to the Edward Siaga football stadium and he was firing accurate shots at the soldiers who were themselves amazed by his, uh, his shooting skills. They were like, wow, well, who trained him? The young man behind the barricade door was killed either by the sniper on the roof or a soldier who was close to him as he tried to set off the explosive. In Tivoli Gardens, the soldiers start to clean up top 10 and bombs. When they make it to Belgium and Java area, the Mendo gave them a fight, though it was like a premature ejac. <laughs> you cannot win the state in the grand scheme of things, no can you? Hard were their lessons taught, hard were their lessons learned. The men from Tivoli started to flee the community as they were being outnumbered by the security forces. Men beside them were immediately loaded with bullets, leaving them shell-shocked. Now Doggy, the infamous Doggy, he and his close compatriot that he brought to Tivoli were given all they had. And it was said that he was the last man to leave Tivoli through the tunnels. A guy named Wax started firing right without regards in the direction of the soldiers who were giving them hell. By this time, most of the men from Tivoli were escaping the battle as a security force 
was beating them like one of his slaves. Men from the Nam town run across the border of Spanglas to seek refuge where they were welcomed and hidden. A lot of guns were being thrown away due to shock and men seeking to escape the battlefield. Guns were given to men from other areas to hide until the battle ended. But this would bring forth a whole other different saga in months and years to come. Pre the P-Boy story on the channel, Everything Connect Man TIS, a top gun man by the name of Remshan, who was firing an SKS rifle, managed to escape the war, but he turned back in the gully because he believed he was supposed to finish the job for his boss of killing all the soldiers and the police he could. But sadly and foolishly, he was killed when he reached back on the battlefield instantaneously. He died where he stood. We have come to the end of part three of the Tivoli Incursion. The temperature turns up. Join us for next episode coming soon. It's the 11 year anniversary where we will live the infamous incursion. One of the worst times in West Kingston, Tivoli Gardens history. If you love how we brought the story together, if you felt like you were ringside or in the theater, you know, um, I must commend, you know, um, my sources who, you know, source me the story and, you know, we put it together. It's not just a single man job, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because me alone can't do it. Yeah, I put the final touches on there and make it, you know? Yeah, but it's a collective effort. It's a team of effort, so. Can't call them name, you know the badness, but if I know them I listen, so. Big up yourself, you know what I mean? Great job, you know what I mean, so. Um, but before we go, you know, some videos may go show you at the end. If we show you, some people might not think we do good, you know, with the platform we have. But remember, Shana, yeah, man, we still a helper. And these are some videos where she sent me, and I think, you know, we should have share, especially with people who contribute to it, um, go for me, you know, me and I'm a, generous um, donor contributor to this channel consistent you know what I mean help me build the channel help me with her you know because she she not just sit down and wait for the JD if she had tried you know I'm just not sure to do that you know it warm my heart to see when you, you help somebody and you help themselves as a woman I wish some woman you know what I mean you know afraid to get your hands dirty man you know, for, for feed the youth then. You know what I mean? And them thing I'm proud, you know what I mean? And make me, me contribute as proud. This is how we do real things. We do, we do platform, we just get up and talk. We, we do it, and we do it the right way. You see me? Yeah, man, so. When I jump to every drum we beat, you know. We, 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 we dance to the right beat. You see me? Yeah, man, so. It's a shana you can kill the chicken and she has shown me a new way. I mean, when all of them kill the chicken, that way they're going to bust out the chicken and she do play it. You know, all soji, you know, all soji. It's really going to play with them, you know, young boy, you know, I'm pretty hard in there. So she cut out the chicken and we don't flinch and chicken a jump. Watch, look. You see that? All right. You see me? And so she has a shovel like a man. A shovel, she has a shovel and dash, she has a All right. Remember me tell you. Yeah, man, I'm proud of her, man. So, you got yourself, Shana, you know, they are going to help up on the channel and things. And you see me, you make a proud, man. You see me, you make it, it work what we doing, doing, you know. So, you know, anybody who can contribute, cause it's, it's a 50 or chicken them dead the other day and she still a fight. So, anybody who can contribute, you know, along with me. And me and Mr. Yura is a fight the fight right now with her. You know what I mean? So anybody want to help her, cause she want to pick them, she want to pick them. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, she want to help them, she want to try, man. So, I don't know she alone will help you, know, but she alone, she, she I like the pioneer for the channel, where she the first, where she one of the first one who really help, you know, that way, yeah. Um, people help on the channel, so, 
big up yourself, Shanae, man. We proud of you. TIS Nation, proud of you, man. And people, TIS Nation, want to proud of our sister, a woman. She just lay down, you know what I mean? Pan her back up, pan her belly up, pan her side, and just sit down, pan her butt, and just her way up, and now. She in the dirt, in the mud, she in the pig shit, she in the chicken shit. I dig out for her one. And now we pan the hand out. In terms of from JDF and them things, you know, she put things to use. So, big up yourself, man. People do good, good to follow you. Bad, bad to follow you. Remember, look out for the two release them from DJ Jason and Romy. They say, me, I say, coming soon, sort of bless. And Rasa Jai, the dirty rock artist, them, and they with them, the big bad with them, gangsta world and success. But if you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, then there's a chance you might end up in Joe Island stories. What? Well, you choose uh... Yeah, man. I owe a world in Say no, I owe a I in him. Say I said that to rock kid in man. I said I owe a wash on him. Yeah, tell them this, man. I won't change a damn thing, so save your tears when the wicked get gatling When the 57 barrel and hot spin, it's a gangsta's world You gotta be a living, a gangsta's world Just be glad you're breathing and still alright Her top flip flips are waiting to gun you down They will never let us down can't come back, can't come back where we'll pussy you too lie Mountain view say we good up at the two side Old friend but we just I see them new side Scandal the event, chick up out the poolside Fear friend, energy, we not too like We got stab him nine yeah with a screw drive Oh our world, you have to pay for living like What, what? You gotta pay to live in a gangsta's world just be glad you're breathing and still around Her top flip flicks are waiting to gun you down They will never let us down Damn, God, why? We no take check, not take check, box.